Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from Group Two. We are going to present about Jiangshui chemical plant explosions in China in 2019. Okay. First of all, let me introduce my group member. We have Nur Aisha binti Ayub, Nur Aina Najwa binti Roslan, Nur Aziana binti Azhar, and the last one, Nur Farhana binti Almi. Nur Aisha binti Ayub. I will explain the part of introductions and uh, backgrounds of incidents. So, first of all, we start the introductions. So, previous fire and deaths have occurred at this factory because there is a no government uh, program in place to maintain chemicals factories like this one up to quick. So, according to the hazardous chemicals uh, dictionary, uh, 2015 editions, there are 200. 2,828 hazardous chemicals produced and used in China. So, Chemical Industry Park CIP policies is a national strategy in China that aim at decreasing uh, the environment risk of decentralized chemicals plants. Uh, there were 502 chips across 31 provinces in mainland China by the end of 2015. Fast and prosperous developments of the chemicals industry have also led to the major incidents all over the China. Okay, next, the backgrounds of the chemical plant accidents. Okay, Zhangshu Chemicals Industrials Park is the Zhangshu country, which is a which is a council country under the administrations of Yangcheng City, Zhangshu Province in China. During the past 17 years, 16 eight chemical enterprises with an investments of more than 1 trillion of Chinese yuan renminbi have been moved into their industrial park. These enterprises are mainly engaged in petrochemistry, salt chemistry, fine chemistry, and biochemistry. Okay, this is the diagram that shows the location of the exploded plant. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Azana binti Azhar I will talk about objective The objective is to investigate why the chemical plant fire and plant explosion occur To investigate the poor safety management To enhance improve in chemical safety and hazard investigation To investigate why should be changed to avoid future problems Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Nur Aina Najwa bin Trislan. So today I will continue this presentation to present about accident as pollution chemical plant that happened at the Jiangshui, China. Okay, the first fire was observed in the plant at 2 p.m. on March 2019 when a small explosion was heard by a worker followed by a loud explosion several circulators. The fire was estimated to have a height of more than 30 meters. As you can see at the picture, the plant and moving with a radius of 500 meters were destroyed in the explosion and the fire. Okay, a 2.2 meter earthquake with a focal depth of 0 meter and combined with the energy of more than 2 tons of TNT was detected by the National Seismology Government after the explosion. The huge blast wave caused by the explosion resulted in huge amounts of human and material loss. This explosion was strong enough that it's registered on earthquake sensor and it could be seen by satellites. Okay, the explosion causes 78 people were killed and 94 people were injured and 32 people were crit critical injured. And a total of patients is 670 patients hospitalized in 60 hospitals in Yanshan City. Okay, there were no reports of anything abnormal at the plant before the explosion, but a worker at the plant has reported that cause was the cause of the explosion uh, in a natural gas tanker that split a benzo storage tank, but it has not been confirmed yet. Okay, on 4 April 2019, the Standing Committee of the Yanchen Committee of the Communist Party of China had a meeting at which it was decided to definitely close down the Central Chemical Industry Parks. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Azana binti Azahar. I will present about session how to avoid this problem. The 
it not with this free thing which is proper plan design, necessary routine maintenance and frequent employee training. Design, why this is so important to us, let me see. Good design can prevent future accidents and limit the risk for those working at plant and in the community. How to prevent this? Cateret uniquely to the type of material that we handle on site. Not really the size of location, but we must take note of impact of environment, operational, capital, and maintain cost. maintenance costs. Factor that need to be addressed before construction, which is rate of flow, working pressure, water and temperature available, also the temperature need to specific chemical. Okay, next, maintain. A way to disaster at chemical plant is carbon monoxide de detector, fire extinguisher, proper ventilation, and well maintained safety. There are many benefits of routine employee training. Employee training and development help company keep pace with change in the industry, help maintain skill and knowledge, and it also prepare employee for higher responsibility. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Norfana Bintahani and today I'm going to present about the conclusion for this presentation. So let's start it. Site location is a critical decision making issue which involves multiple factors including natural condition, transportation, labor costs, environment protection and other factors. As conclusion, we can conclude that explosion hazard mapping should be performed for zones near explosion hazardous buildings just as chemical plants and warehouse can also be evaluated by performing GIS based mathematical approaches. In addition, the threshold of entry for high-risk chemical enterprises should be raised for selecting qualified producers. Supervising and penalty policies should be further strengthened to make sure laws and regulations are completely implemented. The number of workers involved in dangerous operations should be reduced and should be trained regularly on safety protection and equipped with self-protection skills. These measures are required for decreasing human and material losses in similar accidents and archiving sustainable development in the future, which will benefit both China and other countries. That's all from me. Thank you.